I think the appeal of vintage clothing is its sort of individuality and its uniqueness. I think you can go into a vintage store and every single piece will be completely different. Um, so you can find things that no one else will find and then once you've got it, no one else will have it. So um, yeah, I think that's kind of the main. I also think clothing nowadays, it kind of it rolls over really quickly. I mean, you've got it's such a fast kind of industry. I mean, you look at places like Primark and it's just it's so cheap because people buy it and then they just throw it away. Whereas, you know, vintage clothing, people can keep it and they keep it for a long time. Um, because I think also because it's it's a lot better made nowadays. I think modern clothing, they, they make it so that it doesn't last, which is a shame. I think designers often um, copy from the past. So rather than having a more expensive copy of what has already come, you can go and buy what um, you know an actual vintage item which has been worn in the past. So yeah, I think they just have like a love of that old kind of nostalgia, and I think that the way that they're kind of expressing that is to find. I think they really enjoy rummaging through and finding these clothes for, for to put in their stores. So. Um, yeah, I don't think they're living in the past, but they obviously have a love for what has, what has been. Actually, I'm actually wearing a fab vintage um, jumper today. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, I thought, I thought I'd throw that in there. <laughs>over a year ago um, and prior to that for about four years I used to do the market in Winchester they used to be at the market just over by Iceland um, on a couple of days of the week and I started doing that um, on Fridays the market then moved to the high street I had a stall there I suppose for about 10 years and then um, Alan Christopher who actually actually owns the shop and runs the shop here um, he had the store next to me for a couple of years. After a while, I thought, well, it's about time that Winchester had quite um, a nice shop, really. And then we sort of got talking and bought with my stock and his stock and our interest in something. It just seemed sensible to sort of combine the two and um, uh, for, him, you know, for me to come in and um, have this corner of the shop. Alan, basically, his real, real interest, his, his love is for... Uh, things really from the 19, probably late 1950s onwards, particularly 60s and 70s. Yeah, it's something that I've always, uh, I've always had an interest in. I mean, I'm, I was sort of grew up in the 70s myself anyway. Um, but for me, it's all individuality, so the clothes are all individual. There's only one of everything in the whole world that we've got. Um, all vintage clothes shops are all different. We won't have the same stock as anybody else, um, and nobody will have the same stock as us. Um, for me, also, it's just better quality as well. It's better quality. Okay, the patterns are better, the cuts are better. Someone dressed from the 70s, you would know. Someone dressed from the 50s, you would know. And the 80s, you would know. I think after the 80s, the 90s, and now, well, the 90s and now, I don't think there's a distinctive style. Yeah. I think it's. I think things seem to have got more and more. I don't know. Maybe conservative. No one likes to be different. I would say, well, not everybody, but a lot of people don't like to be different. A lot of people like to dress the same. But the question you asked was whether or not people would look at today's stars as vintage. They probably will, but I don't think there's like a definitive style really. The kind of people say, oh, now anything goes, but really anything's gone you know, really for about the last 40 years, really. Um, men's clothes or, or women's, really. Um, but I think at the moment it's, it, I mean, it's great for us and great for... Um, Alan and myself here that um, yeah, retro things have come in because 
um, it's a mixture because so many think obviously most of the things in the shop are um, pretty old but blend in very much with what's available in the shops in the modern shops kind of next door Well, vintage means different things to different people. So if you're 18 or 19, then the 80s and the 90s is vintage. And if you're 60 or 70, then it's probably the 20s or even before that that is vintage. The irony is a lot of the things in this shop from the 1970s and 80s are basically what I was wearing, you know, uh, a lot of the, certainly some of the Hawaiian shirts and things and some of the men's jackets and things when, when, I, when I started off um, doing this sort of thing. The thing with Winchester is is an old historical place, but you've got um, a wide variety um, of people that live here as well. So you've got people that are quite affluent, um, you've got students. The, they, they all seem, luckily, they seem to be very, very, very into, in, into retro. It must be quite a sort of cultural thing. Uh, but a bit I've found that through selling clothes so, yeah, so over the last 20 years or so, um, it's very often um, uh, perhaps Chinese or Japanese students, particularly the girls who always go for very um, eye-catching, very stylish things. Um, one time it was a lot of um, beaded things and slightly glittery things. And now everybody, everyone seems to be buying all, all the, uh, in contrast, all the um, sort of Norwegian, Scandinavian sort of jumpers and things. Population is about 45,000, so 45, 46,000. So you need to really cater for everybody or as many people as you can, because you don't, in a small town like that, you don't want to uh, miss anybody out. Um, and even what we find is even the foreign students, so we get a lot of Chinese girls coming in as well, um, buying all different things, but the, the different areas of, um, society, if you like, are interested in different things or buy different things. So really, our audience is a anybody, really. It's surprising, actually, the amount of people that we get come in just to have a look around. Yeah. We get a lot of um, people coming in that aren't necessarily uh, interested in buying anything, but it sort of puts a smile on people's face. I think some of the customers think it's an only, only a museum sometimes, especially, especially when the weather's very bad and it's very cold and they, they've... Um, uh, so it kind of nothing else to do, but at least it's good. At least people are coming in. But um, yeah, there's certain prize items in the shop, like a, a, a certain chopper bike upstairs, and various pairs of platform shoes, and um, a few assorted wombles and things, which, which aren't actually for sale. But um, it, it's good. It helps to bring people in. It's just nice to see that when people walk around, they can sort of associate things with their past. And they say, oh, we used to have that hairdryer, or my mother had that sewing machine. And then they can have a little bit of a giggle and they have a bit of a smile, and they go out sort of much happier than when they sort of came in, really. So it's not just about um, the No, it's about the, whole sort of, it's about the whole sort of atmosphere. And so, I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, we have to make money to be able to keep going. Uh, but if along the way we can make a few people happy, that's great, really. Yeah, I mean, I'll carry on as long as I can because I just love it. It's just something that I've always loved, you know, the sort of past, the history of the clothes, the styles. Um, I don't know whether you know a lot about the history of this little area, um, but there are redevelopment plans for this area. I mean, I will always try and be in this business somewhere because um, I just love it. And as long as I can carry on in this shop, um, I will do, to be honest. Please come in, you know, come and, come and find us, sort of we'll stampede down to Silver Hill. And, yeah, it's, it's in King's Walk. Yeah, it's, the, the address is, is technically King's Walk, uh, but we're actually on, on the corner of um, sort of Silver Hill and, well, it's called Tanner Street, but it, it's basically just on the edge of the brooks. Just come down um, and have a look. Um, you don't have to buy anything. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people do come in and just look around. Um, and as I say, it's, it's a bit of fun, okay? I mean, if you want to buy something, that's great. And if you don't, don't feel pressured to buy anything. I mean, you can try anything on, you can take a few photos, do whatever you want, really. So that's what we're all about, really.